because at that point they sensed I wouldn't do what they wanted when but I got But what the did they whisper against you? What were they saying about you? Um, well, they would do it through, for instance, churches, evangelical churches. They've got an organization called Christians United for Israel, where they sort of co-opted evangelicals. Uh, people think it's a grassroots movement in Kentucky. It's actually a top-down movement from APAC, so that people who aren't even Jewish will feel like they've got to support Israel, you know, no matter what. And even if it's a secular state that funds abortions, they, you know, just sort of forget that part and we've got to fund Israel. So they have networks, so it's more than just about the money. They try to get me to write a white paper as a candidate, for instance, for Congress. On what? On Israel. And I wouldn't do it. And they said, why? And I'm like, I don't do homework for lobbyists, right? I'm like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like writing term papers at college. I'm not writing one for you. <laughs> what did they say? They said, oh, well, here, just copy Rand Paul's term paper and put your name on it. We'll accept that. And I'm like, no, I'm still not. <laughs> I mean, you're laughing, but you know what? I bet uh, I may be the only Republican in Congress who hasn't done homework for APAC. And it's just what it is. It's conditioning. They want you to do something very simple and benign and, you know, for them. They don't really they don't really grade your term paper. They just want to know that you'll do something for them. And if you'll do something for them as a candidate, you're more likely to do something for them as as a congressman when you get in there. You're probably the only Republican in the House who hasn't done homework for them, who isn't on their side. And that's OK. I mean, you can have, you know, you're a libertarian oriented right. Republican from northern Kentucky. Why do they care? Why not just let Thomas Massey be Thomas Massey in northern Kentucky? Like, why, why the need to crush you? I don't know. I think it's they don't want one horse out of the barn. If one person starts speaking the truth, they're afraid it could be contagious, perhaps. So you've been, um, I think, the lone Republican to dissent from a lot of these votes. Can you, like, how many votes have there been oh my on this question and where have you voted on them? Last month, we voted like 15 or 16 times on issues related to Israel. And, you know, I've been hit because I voted no on all of those. Why do you, because you hate Israel or is there another reason? Let me just put a little footnote here. I'm not against Israel. I've never voted to sanction Israel. I've never said anything particularly, you know, critical of Israel, uh, you know, uh, other than, for instance, right now they're bombing. They've killed 1% of the civilian population in Gaza. That's concerning to me. 